Goedendag, mijn naam is uh, Domin Andela. Hello everybody. My name is Domin Andela and I am chairman of the KFPS Integrity Committee. I'm also a great fan of Frisian horses and I'm the lucky owner of two fine star mares, which we use for driving sports and activities such as trotting races and hacks through the countryside. What brings me here is the combination of Frisian horses and the subject of integrity. But I can imagine that you have the question, why is this actually of belang? Why is the subject of integrity of belang? Many of you probably want to know why integrity is such a big issue. Well, for that we need to get back to basics. For every group of people or community, no matter if it's a company, sports club or the KFPS, trust is crucial. And an essential ingredient for trust is integrity. Zonder integriteit is er geen essentieel noodzakelijk vertrouwen tussen mensen. Dus ik vind ongelooflijk. I'm glad to be here to tell you something about this subject. So what exactly is integrity? In essence, it is pretty straightforward. It means that people's actions always have to stay in line with the law, that people act conform regulations and statutes, and that people respect elementary behavioral norms and values and particularly in the context of the KFPAs. And in the third place, that you elementary gedrags, norms and values in acht neemt. We now have a culture map stating norms and values. But does that mean we're finished and the job's done? Not at all, because there are two reasons why this can be tricky in everyday life. Things are not always black and white. There are situations that are not so simple because people look at things from different perspectives. The second reason is that people have to deal with these situations in a correct manner. For instance, when acting in the capacity of board member, inspector, jury member or council member, People can be confronted with situations that may potentially put their integrity at risk, or in any case, might be of a debatable nature. In such cases, it is key to be prepared and know how to react. I'll come back to that later. The challenge is how to recognize potential integrity issues. For the KFPS, there are three areas we have to consider. The first is a conflict of interest. People who keep horses or work together with people who own horses must be on their guard to make sure that their personal interests don't clash with interests or responsibilities in their function of member of the board, member council or direction. For example, somebody who breeds horses and who uses a stallion he is very enthusiastic about, then this may never play a role when this person has to inspect this stallion's offspring. That puts you in a debatable position, after all, it might be in your favor to give this stallion good marks. So even when people try not to do this, appearances might still work against them. That's a clear case of conflict of interest. Het tweede, dat is het onderwerp giften, cadeaus, uh, tegemoetkomingen. The second is the subject of gifts, presents, compensations. People have to be aware that gifts and presents never come without strings attached. The person who gives you something, sooner or later, expects something in return. And this is going to stick in your mind and influences your behavior and actions. Het beïnvloedt je en je gedrag, je handelswijze ten opzichte van degene die jou iets geeft. Members of the jury and inspection can never accept a discount from the people where their horses are stabled or turned out in the field. Neither can they accept a discount from a stallion keeper. Waar jij je paarden misschien een opvolg hebt. Ik weet dat de gedragscode van de KFPS er ook iets over. The code of conduct of the KFPS states a maximum of 25 euros. But please never do this. Don't accept anything. Ik zou gewoon helemaal niks accepteren. En dan in de derde plaats. The third challenge of integrity is behavior. People who act in function of the KFPS 
must be of irreproachable conduct. They take important decisions for which trust and support is key. Your behavior must never, ever be the subject of discussion. Let me give you a practical example. You should never drink alcohol when in function. By the way, your behavior also needs to be irreproachable when not in function, because people will judge your performances within the KFPS based on how you act and behave outside the context of the KFPS. Has the KFPS done enough? Over the past years, a lot of time and energy has gone into the aspect of integrity. We now have the culture map and the code of conduct, and we have installed an integrity committee. That's the basis. However, I would like to give some advice about the next step. Don't work on more theory and research, but instead get down to putting things into practice. Start training, for example, the jury members. Their education takes three to four years. Construct a module on integrity and use that to discuss the culture map and code of conduct. Discuss topics such as, where could you encounter problems, and how to deal with them. This should not be done for the jury only, but also for all the other bodies within the society. That includes committees, member council, jury members, and inspectors, and most likely this list is incomplete. What does integrity mean to us, and how do we deal with it? I'm convinced that anything that gets attention will grow and blossom, when the KFPS decides to address this problem from now on, the integrity issue can be tackled, and a few years from now, you will reach the level where you want to be. Over a few years, zeker op het niveau zit waarop je wilt zitten. Nou, dat zou mijn uitdrukkelijk advies zijn. That's my advice to the KFPS. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much for having me and for your attention. En ik dank jullie voor je aandacht.